everyone. Welcome to Higan Eruthil. So we have here a tier list. This is specifically for new players coming in um, during global launch. So today, in a few minutes, it's going to be out. So I'd like to put this out because, again, there are certain decisions that you would want to know before you start building your own team. What are the considerations in choosing um, when choosing heroes or characters? And um, the pros and cons if you decide to stay with them or not. Okay, so we'll start off with this tier list. And uh, let me just uh, move uh, some things around. Okay, so we have here um, tier S, A, B, and C. Only four tiers I have for you. We'll be starting off with tier C. The bottom tier are is, is C, and these uh, characters, I'm not uh, recommending you guys to invest in them. Uh, not one bit, because um, their ceiling is going to be um, tier C. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not forever, they might be improved in the future. But definitely right now, there is no ceiling for them. So we have a few here. Let me just... Uh, get them out one is ume so ume definitely for tier c um the other one is mireya and uh the other one is celia or celia here she is so celia is out and the other one is momel so these four do not invest in them in any way or else, you know, you'll be wasting your resources when you do. So that's a quick, um, the quick overview of tier C. Next up is going to be your tier B. Tier B would be um, some of them would be great in the initial stages, but again, they are just for the initial stages. They won't really take you as far as you want them. So first in of all, we'll start with Codier here. Um, again, good with the initial stages. Um, I would, I wouldn't want you to go for her. Go for Roko because Roko is free. You can really take Roko to, you know, the mid game even. Don't go for Cod here, please. The other one is actually Asa. Although Asa is actually good for the initial stages, but again, Roko is available. Both of them are are healers, so again. Uh, they're good, but not as good as Roko. So, if possible, don't invest in them. That's why they're in tier B. Next up is Euphoria. So, the first version of Euphoria is very good in the early game. Don't get me wrong. She can be serviceable. But again, um, I find it really hard to invest in her. She has a level up cap for me. Um, there, there are going to be better hoplites in the future. So might as well. Um, it's a risk if you you know if you really use her. She's good, but again, she won't really have a higher ceiling than B in the future. Okay, next up is uh, we're gonna look for uh, Kier. Okay, so Kier here, a physical shield for team can go up to A. She's a good investment. I think she is um, tier... Uh, no, no. She is SR, if I'm not mistaken. She's a very good investment to start. Um, can be a good overall support for your team. Again, um, that is it. She has a higher ceiling um, up to her max ceiling, which is going to be A. Next up is going to be Queen. So, Queen here. Um, actually, Assassin with good aoe damage flexible range can go up front can go up back but her ceiling caps here you can actually use her if you really want to i did use her before when i started cbt's but eventually i realized that she won't cut it for long um her kit is i i, I don't think her kit matches her type as an assassin so again her her you know her tier is capped at b Next up, we have uh, Chlor. Chlor is a nice one to start. So good AoE damage. Very good in initial stages as well. I won't lie. I've used her in my CBTs. But again, her ceiling caps here. 
good AoE damage. Don't get me wrong. Um, again, ceiling caps here. Next up is going to be Isa. So Isa here, also similar to Cloward position. Both of them, by the way, are they are of our rarity. So good value if you use them. They're still at tier B. Isa very nice at movement manip manipulation. She pulls enemies together and applies debuffs. But again, her cap is actually at B. I don't think I don't see her going up tier b next up is a free unit that we're going to be getting which is where's the free unit here armand armand if you don't have any luck in pulling for guardians or especially for gildan in your rerolls um armand is serviceable i don't mind using her but again be wary on um, up until when you're going to be investing in her uh, good at sharing and um, and uh, dealing damage. She will be your starting guardian if you don't have any guardians to bring. So definitely, her ceiling is going to be at tier B. Um, tier B. Uh, these are one of. This is one of the heroes that will improve as the game goes further. High OE damage has summons, can go up to tier A. For now, um, Siamcom is going to require a little bit of a build to start. That is why, as a beginner, you won't really um, you won't really appreciate Siamcom. Probably in the mid and the late game, um, Siamcom can go up to tier A. Okay, next up is Hathor. Where is Hathor? Hathor is here. So Hathor here has high damage, um, high AOE, sorry, high damage for single targets. That's it. The one good thing about her as well is going to be um, her fire element uh, affinity. So that is it. Um, she's going to be stuck in, you know, in this tier, in tier B. Next up is the last one is going to be Basil. So Basil here, um, Ice Element. I think that's the only one thing that prevents him from being a a a good a good starting unit. Very good crowd control. Goes up in the mid game in the end game. Don't worry. Goes up to A eventually. So it just so happens that Ice Element is actually bad against wind, and most of your initial enemies will be of wind type. So Basil stays at B up until the mid game. Take note, guys, um, Siamcom uh, and uh, Basil will go up. This is just only for a beginner or new player tier list so that you will understand on how they will be starting and how they will be progressing. Okay, so we're done with tier B. Um, next is tier A. So for tier A, we have Caesar. Caesar is going to be your best support tank and go up to S definitely in the mid and and uh, max potential share damage and AoE heals. Okay, um, he's uh, Caesar is not your typical tank. Um, a lot of things happening in her kit, so that is why she starts at A. So next up is going to be Nuno. Nuno is A. Best healer so far can go up to tier S. Um, especially, she requires a little bit of investment in her kit. So, you just have to be patient with her. You can start off with Roko. That is what I did. So, But eventually, both Caesar and, and, and Nuno can go will go up to tier S in the mid and late game builds. Okay, next up is going to be Black... So black here is um, ranger with a lot of damage and attack speed reduction, uh, but drops off eventually to tier B. So the risk with using black right now, investing in him, he will be dropping off to tier B soon. But he's a nice early investment to have. Okay, next up is going to be Fen. Fen is here. Fen is, she can be purchased for 50 cents US. She's a nice unit to have in the early game. Very consistent. 
I didn't have a problem with fan great pyro ranger with range and great and good AoE damage very consistent if you want Ryu to play her in the beginning the mid and the end so again you can't go wrong with her but her ceiling is going to be at tier A next up is going to be Follet where's Follet okay Follet is here so Follet is um large area damage sadly drops off to tier b again a risk in investment but good for the early game drops off the tier b um again <clears throat> it's really up to you guys if you want to invest invest in them in the early game so i'll leave it at that next up is mo testju mo testju great damage for ranger wind breath mechanic buffs and debuffs so Again, she's going to be A up until the uh, max potential of hers is going to be A. Next up is Creamer. Probably one of our best value at SR. So Screamer, uh, another great support for SR, can go up to S. Healing, burning effect, and silence. Um, very nice to have, really. So... Uh, great value if you were to invest start in investing in her on um, SR as SR in the early game be my guest but again if you're you know if you want to use a healer a pure healer it's not her she's an all-around support basically is what I'm saying again her potential can go up to uh, tier S okay next is live live here is a nice all-around support tax speed reduction that stacks and a little bit of healing. Also for Liv, she's not a pure healer. She does a little bit of a healing. Same as Screamer. So they are support units that you will be using. Don't really rely on them for all out healing. But they could give you a little bit of healing. Okay, so Liv. Um, again, um, caps at tier A. And uh, the last one is going to be Rita. Rita is a great single damage uh, dealer with long, long range, increased attack speed for basic attack and burn. Uh, buffs allies can go up to tier S. Recently buffed, and I've been using her for a while since soft launch, and really, really happy with her. Um, she's kind of a glass cannon, but not that much. But again, with her basic attack buffed, the attack speed and the burn damage there's more reason to use her especially that her potential can go up to s okay we're done with tier a next up are the you know the last five i think you see the them, them down below so we'll start off with roko here so roko is a free unit uh best hitter to have uh, to start, to start, okay, so free to start, um, but she eventually drops off to A, eventually as her max potential. But again, uh, you can't go wrong with her in the early stages. Uh, eventually, what I did, I transitioned to Nuno. Nuno will eventually, uh, can go up to S. Um, next up is going to be Media. Media is actually also a free unit. So, free unit to have um, best AoE and single target uh, caster so far. And uh, again, <laughs> if I forgot to mention, she's free. Um, she just might, uh, might drop off to A. Might. I'm not saying that she will, but she might. Um, we'll have to test her in the, as her max, as I you know, reach her max potential. But again, for now, she stays at tier A. As uh, so a tier S. Okay, so last three would be Eluya. Eluya will have her own banner this upcoming launch. So watch out for that. So Eluya is um, going to be, uh, what do you call this? Going to be a good, very good unit, especially with her recent buff, which adds a uh, lifesteal to her kit. Now she can, you know, can can be a little bit tankier with lifesteal. Best burst damage. Um, she's uh, best DPS for a single target. So again, she can cut through the front line and go to the back. 
that is why you should have her eventually um she is going to be good in pvp eventually or actually uh right now even so next is going to be gildan gildan is here let me just zoom this one okay so gildan um she will be in a guaranteed ssr banner she will have her own banner she is a top priority for everyone especially for the reroll especially for free to play best tough tank with taunt high defense what can i say uh she can tank your front with her alone and have three at the back she is a very very nice unit to have to start it would make your life easier basically if you have her so she is going to be your primary reroll target and here is surslet um long shot that we'll get her in the reroll especially for off banner but we will be getting her banner soon um right after launch so probably save up for that and uh, ma she has massive damage damage reduction berserker state best hoplite in the game so far so this is our tier list guys i'll give you one last look at this probably pause this at this point and probably build your team from here so now you've heard it from me who you can invest now who can stay with you up until you know their max potential and still have a good use but for now this is your new player tier list so hope this helps you comment in the comment section what do you think of the tier list if i missed or if i should have put somebody in a different tier um please put them down in the comment section again this is just my opinion and we you know i will hear out your opinions if you think that i have misplaced some of the heroes here so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here